here's the copy of Day Off that I bought early on. It's quite a bash copy look. It's been well used, well thumbed. Martin Parr, age 22. This is quite exciting. It was at this age that Magnum photographer Martin Parr discovered the so work of Bill Tony Ray Jones, Jones, an icon uh, of British photography who intimately documented British life in the 60s and 70s. Tony Ray Jones died in 1971 from leukaemia, but where he left off, Martin Parr picked up, capturing British life with a wry, caustic humour. In an exhibition uniting the two artists, London's Science Museum has collected the work of both men, and Martin Parr helped assemble the selection. The whole process of going through the two and a half thousand or so uh, contact prints was very interesting to sort of see this insight beyond just the sort of 50, 60, 80 pictures that we know from a day off, which is the original book done about England. Martin Parr never met Tony Ray Jones, but his influence on Parr's work is unmistakable. This exhibition is comprised of almost 120 pictures from Tony Ray Jones and 55 from Martin Parr, and it would seem both photographers have been cut from the same piece of cloth. What we get in Tony Ray Jones' view is, um, is this wry humour in the pictures, but that is also underpinned by a melancholy, um, a sadness really, almost like coming third in the race, and is something I think that ties again the two photographers together. In Martin's pictures they're very funny, but at the same time there's a slight sadness, a slight melancholy to them. You can tell that it's the end of an era. It's the end of an era which many people are hungry to discover, not least young Britons keen to jump back in time. So it's a good insight of like the history of England to see it, so it's, yeah, it's interesting. You can definitely see the connection of the two though, I think it's good. Insight into uh, seaside resort documentary kind of photography. Tony Ray Jones and Martin Parr may be from different generations, but both capture the eccentricity of British life, freezing a moment in time before it can be forgotten.